Tom stamping has been a problem since forever. No matter how deep, no matter how clean, the casting still comes out clogged. What's the problem? That's always been a problem, and there is a solution to that. People like to put stamps inside the ring. That has been a problem because you usually do not have enough room, so everything you put in there is very, very thin. In our screen, the 14 carat logo looks great. Okay, fills up the spot. It's a nice script and everything, okay? But here's the fact. If we take, again, a measurement, and we go to here and here, of let's say the one, if we go from here to here across, it's only 0.25, quarter of a millimeter. That's way beyond tolerance. It might build, and then again, it might not. But let's say it does, it won't cast. And the part that's going to, the investment that's going to be in there will break off. A lot of people like to use script. Or their logo might be in script. The problem with putting that in the CAD is it also creates what we call those very thin slivers of material that it's going to break off in the casting process. We looked at the 14 carat and we saw that it wasn't even a quarter of a millimeter wide and it is very deep. If we go to our front view and compare what we did in the, in the ring to the right, which is the way we feel it is best for building and casting, you'll notice that the letters are in block and also that the depth of the letter is only about 0.45 to 0.55 of a millimeter, where here it's over a millimeter deep. Just because something is deeper doesn't mean it's better, okay? Also, these letters here have no draft. Draft means that starting from a point, it angles up to a smaller point in order to create a pyramid. That's what basically drafting is, is you're creating a pyramid. That draft could be 5%, or it could be 10%, it could be up to 90% if you wanted to go to like a truncated cone to a point. But it helps with the, the casting. So if we turn this off, all right, let's get rid of this guy here, and we bring in our, our logos. You notice the logo that was used in order to create the cutter that made the imprint into the ring is straight. If we just go into our view here, <coughs> there is no taper here. As it started on the bottom, it went straight up. If we go to the other logo, you'll notice and there is your draft or your taper. Basically, a draft is a taper. That helps one with strength, which is the most important thing. So you're saying by angling and drafting their prongs, they'll gain strength. That's correct. Just like prongs, it needs that geometric strength. If you're going to make molds or things like that, it helps to make a better mold and definitely a better casting. However, if it is necessary that you have that very fine script, we recommend that you don't put it into the CAD, that you laser it in the finished product because in the end, it's not going to come out. You're going to have to fill it clean it and laser it anyway. But if you can get away with watching how wide this is and how high and the spacing in between the lettering, that's going to help a lot. So in summary, we covered draft angles or tapering, minimum tolerance for width and spacing between letters, and the depth of the engraving. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Please look for other videos in this series and learn how to Perfect your trade. trade.